Brother, wake up. Oh, what? Is it fudger time? No. It's Olympics time, baby! Here, have some of this. And some more of this. And a little bit of... Oh, what the hell is that? The Paris Olympics has taken a controversial turn with a lot of criticism and furious reactions on social media from prominent global personalities. Paris Olympics right now is mocking Christians. Of all the themes they could choose for an opening ceremony, why target Christianity? Elon Musk says, unless there is more bravery to stand up for what is fair and right, Christianity will perish. Man, this looks serious. Those Christians must be really mad. They reenacted the Last Supper using people from the LGBT community. you have any thoughts on that? No, although I wish I would have seen it. They did a great job trying to be as diverse and inclusive as they could. I'm very inclusive, yeah. They yeah. had lots of diversity in it. I thought it was fine. <sighs> well, these aren't the real Christians, you know. What did the Christian YouTube community have to say? Bring out the big boys! If this were done to Muslims, they wouldn't tolerate it, but for some reason, we as Christians, we tolerate that. Or if that wasn't towards Christianity and it was towards Muhammad, like Islam, uh, don't you think people would have been like, hey, that's not kind, that's not tolerant. Do we start to become violent like Islam? Yeah, Muslimin, we've been invoked. They're remembering us because they think people can't make fun of us as easily as they made fun of them. But why? Why are Christians made fun of in this way, especially in Western Europe? France is supposed to be 65% Christian in 2020, according to this, with the non-religious only making up 23.8%. How is it that a country with 65% Christians is so confident in treating Christianity with such utter mockery to such a sickening level in the biggest of stages? The answer is actually very simple. It's because the average Christian in the West has lost their collective sense of dignity when it comes to Christianity. They'll come out on the streets against immigration. They'll come out on the streets supporting God knows what. But for Christianity, nah, you know, we've got better things to spend our time with. They've lost any sense of ownership of their faith. Think about it. If you buy a new car and some clown comes announcing he's going to egg your car, you're going to come out there and defend that baby even if you get doused in egg yolk. If someone informs you they'll TP your house tomorrow, you'll be standing there ready to greet them. But when someone insults your religion, your faith, then bring out the other cheek. They've become so desensitized to hearing and seeing Christianity get ridiculed that they practically don't even realize it anymore until it hits them straight in the face. Mock them! Ridicule them! I first saw this when I was visiting America from the Muslim world. Yeah, I grew up in a Muslim country if you didn't know that. And no, it's not Palestine. In America, I was in the theater ready to watch a movie, and this trailer comes up utterly mocking Christianity and the character of Jesus. There were some women dancing to some musical saying, rock me Jesus. Now, I had the colossally wrong impression that Christianity for Americans was like Islam for Muslims. I was expecting the audience to cause an uproar, a mass walkout or something. Instead, I heard a few laughs and a couple behind me saying, oh, we totally have to watch that. What the hell is this? Audu billah. From that day, I realized the general Western public doesn't really care about Christianity. Jesus and Christianity are constantly degraded and mocked in a very casual manner. David Beckham got a tattoo of Jesus. The response of most soccer fans was, oh, that, that's huge for Jesus. <laughs> The whole thing's so stupid. Just stop and think how f***ing stupid that is. What a son of God! You sure are a son of a- You get the point. The younger generations over the last few decades have lost all respect for Christianity after only seeing it being mocked over and over again. I mean, when you grow up around people praising things like rock me Jesus, then what do you- Um, what? Um... Um, who is it? I mean, come on, man. Guys, 
Look, I didn't actually say this. Look, it's just the sound effect. I, as a Muslim, will get skinned in the comment section by other Muslims if I actually said the words without even intending anything. This is where the Muslim conscience lies when it comes to respecting religious figures. While Christians are here writing articles about how the movie isn't even blasphemous, they have set the bar so low for themselves that they end up mocking themselves as well. In fact, he has to sit in God's lap to slap his face. Whoa, why would you use those words to describe the creator of the universe? What kind of an analogy is that? Sounds more blasphemous than anything the atheist would have said. Look at this clown over here. The guy grew up in Mumbai, but in his quest to become the fair and lovely mascot, Chukwu over here got so westernized, he adopted the western world's weakness when it comes to defending Christianity. Look at this debate. In fact, no, don't look at this debate. Just look at the title. You lost the debate before it even began. Why are you giving this guy any semblance of authority in this discussion? Welcome to Powell Hall and God on trial. Who the hell is this Alu to put God on trial? Why would you even agree to such a demeaning and ridiculous debate title? I don't know. Well, at least the sanctity and honor of Christianity is safe in the churches. What the hell is this? <laughs> Christians, where is your sense of self-worth? Where is your self-preservation? Oh, McFly, your shoes are tied. Oh, oh, oh. Don't be so gullible, McFly. Okay. I don't want to see you in here okay. again. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. <laughs> I'm sorry, but taking a stand by flipping out and threatening murder and destruction simply because someone makes fun of your belief does not make you good or strong. No, we're not telling you to burn cities to the ground. We're just telling you to, uh, I don't know, defend your religion? In my mind, if anything, it only shows the immense insecurity about what you believe so much that you can't take someone even talking bad about it. Okay, man, explain this to me then, because I'm very curious. Is this guy showing immense security of his own beliefs here? Look at this. <laughs> Disrespectful. This is a hate crime. You realize you guys are committing a hate crime right now? <laughs> you guys, if this was a Quran, yeah, you would not have done that. Here. You would not have done this if, if this was a Quran. You're so fucking what you did? Give me revelation. my Bible back. That is a hate crime. Abe to kone me bad ki kyu ro rahe? Brother English. What are you crying in the corner for? If that was your wallet being kicked around, you'd run to go grab it. If that was your child being kicked around, you'd knock all these protesters out. But when it's your Bible, you're just crying about it? So why are you crying like a woman when you couldn't defend it like a man? <laughs> oh, oh, um, uh, continue. You guys, if this was a Quran, you would not have done that. You would not have done this if this was a Quran. Yeah, because when they pull stuff like that with us, forget about our men, our women end up doing this to them. Again, I'm not justifying violence here, but I sure as hell cannot defend weakness either. Western societies cannot come out for the love of Christianity the way they come out for the hatred of Muslims and many other groups. Don't show some guitar gathering video as evidence of your love when your hate brings far greater numbers out. Stop thinking about us, grow up here, and defend your religion. Defend Oh, sorry, <laughs> wrong, wrong Mushrix here. Seeing the Western Christians' condition in front of you, Muslims, especially in the West, do not become complacent in this. Do not become casual to mockery under the guise of tolerance. Do not entertain any conversations that start off with the mockery of Islam. Do not laugh at jokes at the expense of your prophet or your scripture just because you want to seem chill and tolerant. You will be no different than the one mentioned in this Hadith Qudsi who has the punishment of Allah fall upon him for not showing any signs of displeasure on his face when evil was happening all around him. Start with him. 
destroy him first, then the rest. He is the biggest of all the criminals. Why? Because he saw evil happening all around him, and he was too busy just worshipping me and not addressing any of the evil that's happening. While Christians in the West have practically no limit to how much mockery they will endure before they actually do something, Muslims in the Muslim world in general go in the complete opposite direction. Yeah, I'm looking at you over there. لو سمحت يا brother, go easy on them. It's okay. Charity and disciplining both begin at home. And to make sure no Pakistanis get pissed off at me. <coughs> In places like this, many have no tolerance to even listen to a different legitimate religious point of view. The most religious looking guy will be the most closed minded and probably the dumbest guy when it comes to actual knowledge of the religion. With no law and order in many areas, with complete stupidity in the region when it comes to civil and religious education, and with bought off, corrupted, and equally stupid religious clergy thrown in the mix, you then end up having self proclaimed Ashike Rasuls straight up commit murder upon innocent people and then people like me have to stand in front of the non-muslim masses and explain why innocent people are killed by crazy mobs in the muslim world you see this over and over again these people don't know the religion they don't know anything about the life of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but somehow they are still the mascots and the poster childs of conservative islam in these muslim societies this religious zeal and defense of islam somehow goes completely missing though when it comes to defending their brothers and sisters in islam even though the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the blood of a Muslim is more sacred than the Kaaba. You may ask, what's the solution here? To be honest, I don't really know. It's not like these uneducated idiots will be watching my videos where I can tell them right and wrong. I'm sure desperate people like this guy will yell, get rid of Islam! Islam is the cause of all of this! But that doesn't really solve anything because if we just hop across the border, we see Hindu mobs lynching people just because they eat beef among other things. The problem isn't because of religion either, to be honest, as the neckbeard brigadiers will probably suggest because these same idiots from Pakistan committing mob violence are the same people who go work as underpaid laborers in the Middle East. Obviously not all of them, but you get the point. Neither do they nor other Muslim compatriots of theirs commit mob violence in these countries because those countries actually have law and order. They can't harm innocent people because they know they will face consequences. This is something India and Pakistan lack. So the problem is more regional than religious. Now, for the Muslims in this region who are educated enough to, well, watch this video, and pretty much for all the Muslims out there, let not the stupidity and intolerance of the idiotic minority masses I mentioned earlier cause you to become so tolerant as a reaction that you end up falling down the same hole as the Western Christians. Don't be so open-minded that you begin celebrating the garbage your liberally insecure film industries start churning out. This is a sign of weak faith. This is a sign of someone showing no displeasure when evil is happening around them. Do not let your faith be weakened by tolerating shaitan. And a final message for all my Muslim fans out there in the comments section. Stop watching the stupidity dished out by idiotic Christians and insecure murtads. Their videos are from the cesspool of YouTube. You know what a cesspool is? 
See this right here? You won't see that filth if you're minding your own business. You only find it when you go looking for it. YouTube does not promote the stupidity of anti-Islam content to most people, only to the people who go looking for it. So if you see a thumbnail that belongs in the sludge area down there, know that you've been hanging out in the wrong areas and leave, rather than clicking on it and sinking further in, and then asking me to drain the swamp in the comments. Look, l let me tell you all something. Look, come here, let me, let me talk to you over here, come here. <laughs> Booby. You know these last few videos of mine, you might think it's easy work, but honestly, when you realize how many hours I have to re-listen to their arguments, thinking of how I'm going to refute them, it has an impact. Even when I know these are complete lies, it still has a negative impact, because I'm stuck in the cesspool. There's no way I'll get out of it without smelling bad. I have to binge watch lectures of the Sira after making videos like this because I don't want to become desensitized and used to hearing Islam getting ridiculed to the point where it has no impact on me anymore. This is what happened to the Western Christians. Rasulullah said, Your Iman is like a shirt. If you stain your clothes with coffee and then never replace it, you will get used to having a permanent stain on you for the rest of your life. These videos you all suggest to me are more of this then they are coffee. And once you get hit with one of these, the YouTube algorithm will throw a bunch more at you. If you don't replace your clothes, but instead you keep surrounding yourself with this, well, let's just say even if I show up with a power wash, you may not be cleansed in the same way. When you get so desensitized to filth, you will no longer get repulsed by it, and you will eventually end up living in it. Oi! Enough of the lecture, man! Where's the roast? Roast? What do you think this is, man? Some stand-up comedy gig? This is a Darwa channel! We hold ourselves to high intellectual standards over here! If you want to go watch roasts, go watch my other videos. Please like, share, and subscribe, guys.